Emily uh, called me just a while ago and said, Papa, look, here's our place right here. She said, the fire truck's outside. Indeed, there are a couple of fire trucks here, and I don't like to be a looky-loo. But, you know, they're right out front. I was concerned, so I came and looked. They're over there behind this house, looking at a giant bush. I wonder what they're up to. The firemen, they brought out the, uh, the, fire, the fire van, too. Hopefully it's not something serious. I'm batting down the hatches. Thing on. So I got a <clears throat> no, no laughing. This is serious. Um, uh, my my, my uh, uh, father-in-law came over to tell us about what was going on with the fire truck over there. He came over, pound pound pound. He came well. He tried to rattle the door in the locked. It was locked. So he pound pound. So uh, we let him in, and he said that apparently, um, it's big news here in the neighborhood. Nothing ever happens here. Um, you know, um, big news. Apparently, um, just in front of that house over there, the someone had set fire to the uh, to the vacant lot there. A big patch, about the size of a of a queen size bed or so. Um, it look, looks like it may have been arson. So maybe someone playing with fire. Um, and it's kind of scary because it's right in front of that house, right in, right below it. And there are kids in that house alone in the afternoon when the parent before the parents get home. So it's kind of scary to think that there could have been fire um, right next to a house where there were kids by themselves. Kind of spooky. So the firemen stayed, they stayed for hours and hours into the night. I kept looking outside, I couldn't see them out there. I don't know what they're doing out there. I guess uh, arson investigation of some sort. So kind of spooky. Yep, that's what's happening. That's what the fire trucks are for. Take care, everybody. Be safe.